In this video, we're going to graph the function y equals 4 cosine squared of x over 2. And we're going to do this on the domain 0, 2, 4 pi. As all trigonometric functions are periodic to some period, um, we don't necessarily have to graph the entire thing. If we graph uh, you know, a sufficient number of periods, then that's OK. Uh, 0, 4 pi is going to be sufficient for us here, which we're going to see in retrospect why that's perfectly fine. Now, when you try to graph this thing, and I should mention we're graphing this without a graphing calculator, without any technology whatsoever. We're just going to do this by hand. Graphing a quadratic function gets a little bit more complicated for trigonometry. We're good at graphing sine and cosine and transformations of that, but how do you deal with a, with a cosine squared? Well, the idea is to use some type of trigonometry, to uh, trigonometric identity, I should say, to simplify this thing. And actually, the thing that cues us on what to do is the fact we have cosine of uh, we get cosine squared of x over 2, right? This x over 2 makes me think of a half angle identity. We've seen before that, uh, I should say, we've seen before that cosine of x over 2 is equal to 1 half, excuse me, the square root of 1 plus cosine of x over 2, plus or minus. Uh, this gets a lot better when you use cosine squared of x over 2, which is exactly the setting we're in right now. If you have cosine squared of x over 2, the half angle, you're just going to get 1 half of 1 plus cosine of x. For which, when you look at this over here, in terms of transformations, that's a lot easier to graph that thing. You have a shift up by some, you have some type of vertical stretch. So we're gonna make this substitution in for cosine right there. We get y equals four times one half times one plus cosine of x, like so. One half of four is equal to two. So we get two times one plus cosine of x. I'm gonna distribute that two through, and now we just have to graph the function y equals two plus two cosine of x. How bad is that? We see that in terms of graphing this thing, the period has been changed, for, or not the period, the amplitude's been changed. The amplitude's going to be 2. And this plus 2 right here means we're going to have a shift up uh, by a factor of 2. So the midline's been moved up by 2. So with that in mind, we're going to move the midline to y equals 2 because of the vertical shift. y equals 2. Um, the amplitude is going to now be, uh, the amplitude is going to be 2. So it's going to go 2 above the midline to below the midline to above the midline and since it's a it's a cosine function we should start at its maximum no reflection going on here so your maximum here is going to be at four the minimum will be at zero there is no change to the period so the minimum should happen at pi the maximum should happen at zero and two pi and then at pi halves and three pi halves we should get um, the, the quote-unquote x-intercepts, which because we've shifted things, we will cross the midline at pi halves and at three pi halves. So we get a picture like this. And then we're going to repeat this picture for the second period because, again, it wants us to go to four pi. So because there was no period change, this just turns out to be two cycles completed right here. And so now here's the graph of y equals 4 cosine squared of x over 2. It seems intimidating, but with the, with the right half angle identity, this function is equivalent to 2 plus 2 cosine of x, which is fairly simple to graph comparatively.